My name's Scott and I'm the singer of the Cinematics. My name's Larry and I play guitar in the Cinematics. My name's Adam and I play the bass. Uh, how long have the Cinematics been going on for? Five years. Is it? Five? Yeah. Five. <laughs> 2004. Three? Four. Four. Yeah, it's been five years. And uh, this guy's been with us for a year. So as this incarnation, it's, it's only a year old. Um, and the Cinematics are from... Well, 75% from the Highlands of Scotland, from a, a little town called Dingwall, just north of Inverness. And this young man is from Paisley. Glasgow. Glasgow. It's Paisley. Paisley, yeah. 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 It was, we had a, a, a good run. We kind of, it seemed to happen quite quickly, to be honest with you. We, kind of, uh, we signed to a record company called TVT and released our first album in 2007 called A Strange Education. And, uh, got us around the world and we went to, I think we've been to pretty much every major city in the western world now, which I think is like one of my good claims to make about life. Uh, um, <coughs> we've got a tour coming up in, um, in April, starts in April, and the first single from the album will be out in May, which is called Love and Terror. Uh, so that's the, this is what's happening just at the moment, and then the, uh, the album will be coming out, coming out soon, but the date has not been confirmed. So you'll need to leave that exclusive for another day. Um, but yeah, we're just going to kind of go out there and kind of get to it again. We've been kind of writing and kind of sitting around waiting for, you know, sort of record company kind of stuff to get finished and done and law stuff organised. We've been kind of busy writing tunes and it's been sort of fun for us, in, you know, writing and stuff. But we've been off the touring wagon for a wee while. So it starts in Aberdeen. And then it goes to Inverness and Dingwall, our hometown. And then it moves down in a crescendo sweeping south down towards London. And then uh, off into Europe uh, to speak to lots of people that don't speak English. We're actually, and then in, in the English dates, we're, uh, we're playing with a band called Hit Parade. Uh, they're supporting us in, uh, in the English dates from, the, what was that? Orange Unsigned? Orange Unsigned, yeah. They, were, they came second in John Orange Unsigned. Yeah, so. Um, and then we've just recorded our second album now, which we recorded over the winter. Uh, this amazing character here managed to uh, produce himself. We decided that after the, the first record, which we spent lots of money on, we recorded in like Real World Studios in Bath and Peter Gabriel's studio, which was pretty amazing and pretty cool. Um, but we kind of felt we were kind of getting bullied into doing things we didn't want to do, and compromises were being made when we were working with the record company. So this time we decided we we're going to try and do things ourselves, take things back into our control, kind of record the songs we want to record, not let people get involved, record it the way we want to do it. And uh, so I think this, this record's going to be really good and kind of exciting, back to basics, and really kind of a real true cinematics album. There's no kind of outside influences in this at all, so we're quite pleased. And tonight at this gig's really the first show that we have to kind of show, show the world our new songs. So it's a bit of a sterling exclusive. I think it sounds very different. So just yeah. very different. It sounds, not gonna love it anyway. It sounds it sounds um wild and hairy. Crazy raucous. No, I, I wouldn't say it was crazy raucous, but it, it sounds 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 raw. Mm. I think the first record we're very controlled and kind of <clears throat> you know, could we work with this guy called Stephen Haig? Um and we work with New Order and Lots of other kind of sort of, uh, well, New Order in their more sort of poppy phase and, and lots of other kind of sort of big sort of synthy type kind of clean sounding bands in the, in the 80s. And then I think when he recorded our first album, he kind of gave it that kind of very controlled, uh, kind of, it's, you know, very sort of shiny kind of sound, um, which is perhaps maybe not reflective of what, what we do live. And I think sometimes, you know, I, we used to get comments of, my God, you're amazing, you're amazing live. And then, you know, maybe we weren't quite so impressed with the record. It maybe didn't translate, you know, what, it didn't really kind of capture what we did live, whereas this record, I think, really does kind of have like a sort of a live kind of an, ex an exciting, more edgy kind of a sound, which is more in keeping with what we do live. I think this is a, I think we've made a really good record this time. I mean, I love, I, I like the first one, but I mean, this second album is really kind of, I'm really proud of it, something that I think we can kind of go out and prove to the, prove to the world that we're, uh, we're, we're uh, you know, we're, we're, not, we're a band, but we're a band. <laughs> when you work with a producer, it's not really your own, you know. You, you pay a producer to come and put their stamp on on the record, on their sound, and as a consequence, I don't think it's ever really going to be your own. But we took, like Scott said, we took things into our own hands and 
you know, cultivated and preened our own sound. And I think we can be a lot confident, more confident about this album as a consequence now, because it really is our own and it's got nothing to do with anybody else. So yeah, yeah. so sure. it's exciting.